Of all the violent offenders in our prisons, about one quarter are psychopaths. Many of their crimes are well known and abhorred. It's already known that the brains of psychopaths are built differently. Sections associated with behavior and emotion are actually smaller than those of the general population. It may explain the personality of the psychopath. They're callous, unemotional, they're interpersonally manipulative, and they use aggression in a slightly different way, what we call instrumental aggression, so a cold, premeditated, planned use of aggression to get what they want. Dr. Nigel Blackwood and his U.S.-Canadian team tested how the behaviour and emotion parts of the brain respond to a simple reward-punishment game. Volunteers included psychopathic violent offenders, non-psychopathic violent offenders and a control group, all white British men who were tested while in an MRI machine. They had to choose one of two images on a screen. The right picture resulted in reward points. The wrong choice results in point loss. Then right and wrong are switched. Everyone figures it out, but in those brief moments of losing points, punishment, the scans show the psychopathic brain behaves unusually, processes punishment differently from violent offenders and people with no history of crime. They're not simply insensitive to punishment. There's a very different organization of their uh, reinforcement learning system that shapes their behavior. And this person's eyes might go like that. Criminal psychologists have long tried to understand why psychopaths are beyond reform. They don't benefit from rehabilitation the way other violent offenders can. This new research could lead to new interventions at a young age. There may be ways that we can actually work with individuals, perhaps at a youth level, to have them uh, to have some sort of motivation around uh, their behavior when it comes to things like punishment and reward. The new research adds to growing evidence that psychopathy is not just a behavioral problem, but a complex neurological mystery. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.